your name? My name is Vera Wharton. And where do you live? I live at 115 West Lemon here in Bartow. In Bartow. Mm -hmm. And how long have you lived in Polk County? I've lived in Polk County 40 years. And where would you come from? From Scotchville, Kentucky. From Kentucky? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what did you do around Polk County area? Well, I taught school at Dundee Elementary. I came here especially to teach the third grade there. And when Dan Jenkins called me and told me that he had an opening in the third grade at Dundee Elementary School and that my salary would be $3,328 and Scotchville, I would have made $1,100 for nine months and I had no work days. And he said I wouldn't have over 22 children and I had had 68 for the last five years. So I hide myself down here. He said that since he called me on Tuesday, then I was supposed to work on Monday. I could have some days off, but I got busy and caught the train and got here on a Sunday afternoon and went right out to Dundee on Monday morning. And I was so happy there with the community and my 22 children, really, that I wrote my friends back in Kentucky and told them that I had died without going to heaven <laughs> because everything was so nice. Well, and the community was, they really, the staff and the community accepted me real well. And pretty soon I was the, well, I was traveling over every big path in Dundee, raising funds for cancer, leukemia, Red Cross, everything. Whenever they'd come to town and come to the drugstore and ask uh, Ray Golden who could make a drive, well, they, she, he always said, Vera Wharton will do it. So I would take a bunch of kids and go out over town, and we'd go to everybody's house. Most places, they might give us a dime or a quarter, but if it was cancer, they'd always give us a dollar because they was afraid they'd have cancer one day, you know. <laughs> and so I, because of this, and my husband used to worry because I'd sit up until 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning making all my plans for my children. And he said he would name all the teachers in school and say they weren't doing those things. I said, but I am not them. But this fall, when they built the new media center, uh, my former pupils uh, suggested that they name it for me because I had been... Um, caused them to do a whole lot of work and love to be uh, in community work involvement. So on November the 15th, they dedicated the media center to me, which was the greatest honor that's ever come well, to I'm me. Well, I'm sure that you were certainly well pleased, weren't you? Yes, that, I was. For that honor. Very. And I'm sure it was well deserved. Well, they said, Dr. Stewart, somebody said, he said, how could I not give it to her? She's been into everything. <laughs> well, we certainly are happy to have you with us well, today. I and we appreciate you telling us this. Okay, thank you very much.